If you do a YouTube search for Rise and Fall Greece gameplay, you will find this video with 57,000 views uploaded 11 years ago by, well, me actually. It's just a random video of me walking around in the game with the most nostalgic OG YouTube soundtrack you will ever hear. And somehow that got 57,000 views. But apart from that, Rise and Fall is actually a really awesome game that you all should know about. I have the original DVD box right here. And look how cool it is when it folds open. Like this used to be like this back in the day. It's not a collector's edition. It was just like this in the shop for every little edition that you bought. And another great thing about this is, is that it still works. It still runs on my PC. I play it from time to time. The game doesn't look that bad. Even though it's very old, I'm going to show you why you should know about this game. We're going to do a quick game with Greece versus Rome. And would you just listen to this start game sound effect? Oh, that's so good. So at first glance, this game might look like your average general RTS game like Age of Empires or something similar. But this game has a feature that I haven't seen in any other new game until today. So I will show you that very quickly. First, we got to build this barracks over here. And I will put this granary back here. Barracks is of course going to train our soldiers. And this granary is going to increase our population capacity. Making some new citizens right here. And then we can choose a hero. I can choose Alexander or Achilles. Now they both have different strengths and weaknesses. So I'm going to go with I think Alexander for this video. Because he is generally just a bit better and a bit faster than Achilles. So in order to show you that unique feature that Rise and Fall has, I need to get my hero up to level 2. And I can do that by gaining glory, which is right here. I think we need like 500. We can do that by defeating outposts, which should be here and here. That's actually a really big feature of this game. Outposts spawn neutral enemies that you have to kill and capture the outpost. And then that gives you an advantage on the map. So I'm gonna create my little army here. I can also make some statues like this. And that's going to generate glory over time as well. Here we have Alexander. Would you just look at this guy? God damn. <laughs> Alright. Also formations in this game are also really cool. You see as the group gets bigger. They get in this little formation with their banner. I just think that looks really cool. Okay. I think my army is big enough now to attack the first outpost. Should be one right there. There it is. It's just a neutral outpost. You can see that by the white flags. It's going to turn blue if we capture it. And as you can see, it spawns these enemies that we have to kill. So I'm just going to let this little army here do that. Let these guys join as well. And let's get my hero to level 2 as soon as possible. Got some new citizens here on woodcutting and gold. Okay, let's go. So apart from other RTSs where you have to upgrade your civilization by building landmarks or building special buildings. In this game, you have to level up your hero. And that gives your civilization the ability to research new things as well. So it's very centered about your hero. I, I almost captured this outpost right here. There you go. Perfect. I'm gonna move my army to this one right now. So we have those two captured. And also I'm almost level two. So that's great. I'm gonna make another statue real quick. You can go on let's say wood. So we get more wood for the statues. Yep. And there it was. I love that hero upgrade sound. But I just love this game in general. My hero is level 2 now. As you can see the stamina is increasing. It needs to be not flashing for me to finally show you the feature. That is so cool about this game. So I'm going to wait a little longer. And then we are going to take this next outpost here. My enemy is on this side by the way. It's not a very big map. And because my hero leveled up like I said. I can also improve my soldiers now. So I can make improved hippaspists or improved archers or hoplites so i'm training some archers now as well and then i will do these two upgrades here are my archers looking pretty cool already if they are all fully upgraded they get like this super cool gold armor not sure if we're gonna see that this game because i'm gonna go about it pretty quick oh crap my hero actually walked into the outpost because there is a enemy roman archer walking around here so he was chasing her Let's kill that. There you go. Don't need to kill these outposts units already. Well, I can, but, but as you can see, my stamina is no longer flashing. Just going to regroup back here. And now, when I hit the Q key on my keyboard, this happens. Hell yeah. I can control my hero from a third person's perspective. I can look around. I can see my army right here. I can make them follow me if I do this. They will scream and now we can actually attack this outpost. So it completely changes your view of the map, changes your view of the game. Army is following me and we are going to charge this outpost right here. Let's see. 
I can actually make them charge and they will just go in. Here we go, guys. And let's see some sick combat. It's mostly just mouse mashing, I would... I don't know how you would call it. It's not a lot of depth in this combat. Just slash them around. But as you can see, my stamina goes down when I do this. Or when I get hit. And if it's gone down to zero, I can't go in hero mode anymore. And I would have to wait until the stamina is recharged. But look at this. We're doing a pretty good job. I also have a bow. And I also have fire arrows. But that requires a lot of stamina. Now, right now, I could go out of hero mode because we killed everyone here. There you go. And then just take over this outpost like that. So that is the feature I love the most about Rise and Fall. Especially when you're in very big field battles. And you're just part of the like the massacre that's happening. Otherwise in other RTS games it's just more like you're always watching it from above. And that's not very immersive. But this game does a very good job at that. Here we go. I got a Spartan Academy. We can almost train Spartans now. But I need hero level 4. Spartans are very strong with very slow units, so they are much better than these just common soldiers. But I need hero level 4, so let's go and aim for that. Also got a stable, so we can make some cavalry. Let me do that real quick and upgrade them as well. As you can see, I can now make companions and Cretan archers, and they actually have a different look. So all of these guys right here will change looks very soon. If you click on this little icon on the bottom right, right here, you will open the diplomacy menu and you can research a bunch of stuff here, like improving morale, that makes your army stronger, so I'm gonna do that. Improves the hit points of siege weapons, well I don't think that's necessary. Citizens instantly drop resources, that's a very nice one. And improving the range of archers is also nice, but it costs glory as well. So you know what, I'm gonna cancel that one for now, this one also not very necessary. Because I just want to level up my hero, as fast as possible so make more statues please <laughs> this is always my it's not really a tactic i just like to build all of these statues around the granary i have no idea why i do this actually otherwise all of these statues take up a lot of space in your town so i just put them all over there don't mind me anyway i think the upgrade for the soldiers is almost coming through yes it is got my first cavalry here as well which is grouping up grouping up awesome gonna go into hero mode and you will see my companions now, oh, don't they look a lot stronger already? And the archers are gonna get an upgrade now as well. Yeah, it looks like they haven't even captured this outpost yet. And they are still just hiding inside their camp. They haven't even captured this one yet. But there are their buildings. These are just the outpost units getting out of their outpost up top there. So let's go ahead and charge. Gonna use my cavalry now as well. Looking very awesome. Oh, let's use my fire arrow. There you go. Yeah, it costs a lot of stamina. It's very overpowered, maybe a little too overpowered. I'm not very sure how balanced this game is in terms of, like, multiplayer. I think you would always want to go for Alexander. Oh, here we have Julius Caesar. There he is, guys. That's a hero for Rome. We can shoot him in the ass. Oh, crap, I missed. But as you can see, he is not in hero mode right now. Otherwise, he would be walking differently, like, way faster. But the AI can also go in hero mode, and you will definitely see the difference. So let's quickly take this outpost. Let's regenerate some stamina real quick. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty easy win, guys. He built a lot of barracks, though. So that's kind of scary, but I don't think he's gonna make a lot of units. We will see how his army is. I'm gonna wait until I have enough stamina again, and then actually go into his camp. Also, look at my cavalry right here. They upgraded their looks as well at my archers. So everyone's looking very, very nice. And that's level four. I'm going to research Spartans now. And then I will show you guys what they look like. They're very badass, but very slow. But in a map like this, it's not too bad. It's not too big. So that's fine. I'm actually being attacked by something here. Oh, I think Julius Caesar is shooting at my horses. He killed some of them right there. I can't go into my hero right now. So I can't see into his camp. Oh, and there's his army. Okay, it's not that big actually. And he hasn't upgraded them. As far as I can see. I can go into hero mode right now. So look at this big battle happening here right now guys. It almost looks like Bannerlord you could say. But <laughs> Would you just see what one fire arrow does? I think it's a little bit too overpowered. Just gonna let my army do its thing. I think they will all survive. I think we should be fine here. They actually have a pretty decent army. Also some spearmen coming in there. Gonna do some damage in here. And then I will probably, yeah, get kicked out of hero mode because I don't have any stamina left. Come on, guys, regroup. Let's kill this little army right here. You focus on the horses. And we maybe might need to make some, well, Spartans, actually. 
and some more cavalry that I can send this way. All right, guys, his army is gone. I'm gonna go into his camp right now. Let's see where Julius Caesar actually is. I see him firing at me sometimes. There he is. Now he's in hero mode because otherwise he can't fire. So I'm just gonna focus on him because he can do a lot of damage. He actually still has a decent army. Not sure if I'm gonna make this. Might need to focus on this little tower right here because that's a very nice defensive structure. Yeah, he's doing a good job at killing my army, man. <laughs> I need to step up my game. Yeah, I am not going to make this. I'm actually gonna get killed here. He has a lot of these basic units. They're not very strong. My hero is also gonna die. Yeah. There goes Alexander. No worries. He will just respawn in like a minute or something. But he has a pretty good army. Looking at his army, I should probably make Spearman and archers to defeat his cavalry oh crap if, he, if he's actually coming right now i might have a little issue i do have some cavalry here oh and my first spartans yeah look at these guys i think if i make a little spartan army there's no way they're gonna be able to defeat them three two one and there you are i have the final tier of archers right here royal archers they are called with this sick golden armor and I really love those helmets, they're looking really cool. Got my Spartan army right here, which are still increasing. And I am also building a Ballista right here. I might do two of those, so I can actually destroy his defensive buildings. I, he might also be attacking me soon, but he will first attack my other outposts here, probably. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Got two Ballistas, got two full groups of Archers and Spartans here. I think we're good, guys. So let's go ahead go to this side and see if his army has gotten any better i think it will it will have gotten better because he probably upgraded them to a uh, next tier as well which might be problematic but i just have to use my spartans to counter his cavalry and then just let my archers shoot at anything and my ballistas at his towers and defensive structures like this one I'm gonna scout ahead a little with my hero oh yeah i see some cavalry he is still training i think oh they're actually coming Yep, they're coming. Still, I think this is tier 1 cavalry, so that's very good for me. Need my Spartans in front, because, <laughs> but they're so slow. So I'll just take on these units very quick. Yeah, they're coming. My archers need to move back a bit. Oh, also, my Ballistas, don't go in the front line, please. And I let my Spartans deal with this. Come on, guys, let's do this. Gonna go in hero mode, gonna look from a distance. Maybe use some fire arrows here and there to kill these... I don't really need to kill these archers. I think I need to focus on this cavalry. That's the biggest issue. There you go. There you go. Actually killing quite a good amount of them. Need to look out for my stamina. But I need to use all of this to kill this group right here. Yeah, I think that's the most of them. There you go. And now I'm almost out of stamina. Almost defeated this group right here. Look at my Spartans fighting, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Let's destroy his barracks. All of his little unit production buildings like right here. There goes the first one. Quickly onto the next one. I think we are good right now, guys. Looks like the most of his... The majority of his army has already been defeated. Here we go, guys. Doing a really good job destroying all his defensive buildings. He has some units roaming around right here, but not too many. I still can't find Julius Caesar, though. He should be walking around somewhere. If he gets killed, I actually get a message from that, so... Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. He was fighting here somewhere, I think. Not sure what happened there. Let's kill these, or destroy these last buildings. Let's go into hero mode for a little bit more of a view. Yeah, we're doing great, guys. Gonna destroy all these buildings. Gonna get these units, which are actually the latest tier soldiers for Rome. Which look really cool. And they come out of this little town defense structure right here. So we're gonna have to take that down as well. There you go. Okay, that's almost everything. He has some statues here, but I don't think that really counts. So I think this right here should be his last building. Oh, look who spawned here again. It's Julius Caesar. He's gonna get a rain of arrows on his head. Look at this. There you go. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down fast. And there it is. Okay. Kill this building. Destroy it, please, quickly. It's also another town. Oh, it's not a town defense, it's just a town center. But it's gonna go down very fast. Gonna destroy his last little statues here. Get over here, and this should be the end. There it is! You are victorious. Guys, I hope you like this little game. It's just a super cool game. You can download it for free on the internet, I think. Otherwise, it's not too expensive to buy somewhere. It's just so awesome, especially when you play with friends in like these 4v4 maps or 2v2. It can get really hectic and really big armies i hope you liked it let me know in the comments if you are going to play this as well or if you know it i'm very curious 
I'll see you guys in the next one.